Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata and you're trying to find where the relay for the fuel pump is located. Stay with us, we'll explain that. Also, we have a, we have a couple of fuses that uh, control the fuel system as well. We have a special video about fuel pump fuses as well. And if your car doesn't start, we'll have guys a video that will tell you the top things, what can cause Hyundai Sonata not to start, okay, and how to diagnose your system, how to test fuel pumps and all that stuff. So that will be on the channel. Now that should work on this generation Hyundai Sonata from year 2009 to year 2015. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, cheap fuses guys, we're going to share the link in the description of the video below where you can get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. That's where we get all our parts from. Another thing guys, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, what's the plan guys? To make at least 200 guys free electrical and diagnostic videos that will be shared on this channel you're watching right now electrical car repair life and we will have more than 300 guys mechanical videos taking the whole engine apart the whole car apart and we will show you how to fix pretty much anything all that will be posted on our main youtube channel okay it's called how to repair guys right here guys we have helped more than 100 million people so let's go ahead and start on it now so you guys actually have two fuel pumps one is in the fuel tank okay and the other fuel pump is actually a high pressure fuel pump that's located under this cover so let's just go ahead pull it a little bit up okay somehow and if you look right here that's your high pressure fuel pump guys but now most of the times okay the relay is actually for the low pressure pump that's in the tank and brings the fuel to the engine what I recommend guys every time you remove relays okay fuses always disconnect the car battery but on these modern vehicles if you don't disconnect it in the correct order and reconnect it in the connect in the correct order what can happen you can cause damage to the uh, engine computer electrical system guys relays modules things like that can go bad and uh, we have a special video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first and we'll put the link in the description of the video below then let me explain quick that's a fuse box right here you have one tap here one there squish pull straight up okay if you flip it this way guys okay now we need to find the relay for the fuel pump and looking at it okay if you come right here it says fuel pump relay right here it's that green relay that we have specifically right here guys so that relay okay you can practically get it with your hands okay and pull it out if it's too stuck okay i'll be able to pull it out but if it's too stuck what you can use pliers like that and if you need to buy some we will share the link in the description of the video below grab it okay and pull it out you can see just like that now if you need to test the relay guys and want to know for sure if it's good or bad we'll put a link to a video that explains how to test them also we'll put the link to where you can purchase a relay okay like this one if you need it guys in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out when you are ready all we have to do grab a new relay it goes only one specific way okay you cannot reverse them and just insert it so make sure that it's tight make sure the connection is good because if it goes too easy it means that maybe you have something damaged like a pin on the bottom where it contacts and that can prevent it from contacting correctly guys and not sending okay uh, good connections so we had a problem like that in the past always make sure that it fits good it's tight and it's not loose and moving guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time